How is it going everybody? You're watching that about tech and today I'm going to show you this. How you can control your Mac with your iPhone with screen sharing. And the best part for free. So as you can see, I'm controlling my mouse right there, my cursor right there in real time with my iPhone. And as you can see, it's fully interactive. I can go ahead here, for example, and close this window all together. And as you can see, it's instant the input on the computer on the Mac and of course the screen sharing will take like a second to refresh but as you can see it's instant take a look at the cursor right there at the top is 100% instant it works perfectly you can fully control your Mac with your iPhone for free so let me show you how you can do this step by step as I always do let's get started okay so the first thing you're gonna need to do is actually download an app and the good thing is, apart from being free, as I said, is that you don't need to download anything on the Mac, just on the iPhone. So this is super convenient. So open up the App Store and then go ahead and tap here on search. And then let's look for Real V and C. Tap on it and that's how it looks like. Of course, you're going to see all of the info on the screen and link in the description, a direct link in the description. So if you tap there, you're going to go straight to this website. So no mistakes. You can go ahead and download it. And as I said, it's free and it doesn't even have in-app purchases or anything like that. It's just free, right? So open it up as you can see right here. And then you're going to need to grant access to local network and all that. Of course, this is all done via your local network and it's all wireless so go ahead and allow and then you can slide 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 and then get started right there and then right here you can already slide to the right and you can already add your computer but before you do that you actually need to set up and adjust a few things on your mac okay so put your iphone on the desk and then go ahead and open up your system settings it used to be system preferences right now it's system settings so open it up and then go ahead and go here to general and then go to sharing you can also search sharing anywhere and you find it as well so tap on sharing right there and here we're gonna grant some permissions of course as you know apple is super really concerned with security and of course in order to do this connection right here you're gonna need to grant access and allow everything like that but don't worry because it's super super safe as you see throughout the process so you will be safe okay so let's go ahead here and enable just those two options remote login as you can see and then remote management right there just those two right next to that you're gonna need to actually tap here on the eye on the information and then you're gonna need to go to your options right there and then you're gonna need to manually tick all those boxes because here is what our iPhone is actually gonna access on the computer and of course we want to have full access because it's our device right so then you can go ahead here and allow all of them and as I said don't worry because you see that this is super super safe and only you will be able to access your Mac with your iPhone all right so allow all and then okay as you can see right there and then we're pretty much done. You can leave it on the screen because you understand why, okay? And then grab your iPhone once again, and then go ahead here and tap on the plus. And then right here, we're gonna actually, we're actually adding our computer and the first information is the IP address. So then the, the iPhone, the software can actually locate the Mac. And the IP address will be right there, as you can see. So in my case, 192.168.15.9. This will change, of course, and this will only work inside your own local network, right? So uh, get your code that's gonna be displayed right here. You also have the possibility of finding this information in your network settings. It's the same thing, okay? So um, go ahead here and I'm actually gonna type it in and then I'm gonna type the name of the computer in this case uh, so I don't get confused with other machines. Uh, MacBook Air okay you can name it whatever you want and then go ahead here and save and then the machine is pretty much created already but then you have one next step which is connect 
And as you can see right there, it's gonna connect. It's gonna find uh, the, the, the machine, the, the Mac. It found it, no problem, great. And then you can continue as you can see. And right here is the authentication. Right here is the security step that I mentioned. And you'll see that only you will be able to access your Mac. Because right here is gonna ask for the username of the machine, of the Mac, and the password. And this is the lock screen passcode. That password that you use to log into your computer. When you open it up, that password that you type it in and then you access your Mac. So that's why it's safe because only you have the access to your computer when you open it up. Only you will be able to type in right here and access your Mac remotely. So it's the same security, all right? And if you don't really know what's your Mac username because most people don't, that's the name you created when you activated it for the first time. And I know many of you won't remember it, so it's very easy to find. You can go hand here and you can already hit down here and close all that you don't need anything like that anymore and then you can go ahead here and go to the search and open up your terminal okay so open up your terminal right there and then right here you can already see your Mac username it's right there Daniel Altec Studio in my case is gonna show up right there as well but if you want to you can just type it in who am I enter and then as you can see, then about tech studio. So as you can see, it's showed a million times right there. Super easy to find. So then you can go ahead here and type it in. So I'm gonna type in my username and then of course my password, which as I mentioned is the lock screen password, okay? That you use to enter to access your Mac. It's not Apple ID or anything like that. It's the lock screen one, okay? So I'm gonna type it in as well. And then of course you have the possibility here to toggle remember password if you want to. So then you won't have to manually type it in every single time. You can just toggle this switch on if you want more convenience. But of course, if you wanna be super safe, don't toggle this and then every single time you're gonna need to manually type in your username and your password. If you wanna be super safe, that's what I recommend, all right? So then go ahead and continue, and then it's gonna connect, prepare your desktop, and as you can see, it's instant. So I can tap on okay. Here you have a tutorial. If you wanna take a look, it's super cool. I'm gonna skip it just to make some time. And then here another tutorial, I'm gonna skip it as well. But as you can see, we're done guys, we're already in, we're already moving right there, our cursor, it's perfect, it's interactive, it's working, it's real time, and of course, you can readjust if you want to, you can do it like that, uh, you can go landscape if you want to as well and readjust, and you have a ton of uh, controls and customization right here, you can just play with and have some fun, and of course, it's all working, as I showed you in the intro, you can go ahead and close it out, and it's gonna work just perfectly okay so that's how you fully control your mac with your iphone for free with screen sharing amazing so if you enjoyed this video please make sure to hit the like button down below it helps out so much subscribe and leave a feedback down below as well i do appreciate it so i'll see you on the next video as usual guys bye bye